Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Hello. So today we have our top 20, it was meant to be top 10, but we got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> our top 20 best Instagram photo spots in Disneyland Paris. Yeah, like in the park. The places that on nearly every trip we always go to and we always take the same yeah. photo. <laughs> We need to think of like a few more. I think every trip we kind of discover like one or two new favorite Instagram yeah. spots. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and if you follow us, sorry. I was just gonna say, and every time we go, we just think, oh, we need to be a bit more outside the box. Yeah. And it's that we we stumble across new things. And if you follow us on Instagram, mine is Helena So underscore, and yours is Martin dot Bell. Mm -hmm. You might up. have seen these. <laughs> you might have seen these photos. Um, but yeah, we're going to chat through them today and we'll also let you know where to find the photo spots if it's your first time going to Disneyland Paris yeah. and you want to get some good photos for your Instagram. And we'll also flash up the actual picture yeah. of where it is so you know. Okay, so number one is probably one of our favourites yeah. ever. We always have to get this and it is a castle picture. So very important. You can't go to Disneyland Paris without having a picture of you in the castle. Mm -hmm. But it's just to the left of the castle. So as you walk up to the castle on your left, there's a little like round area and I think there's like a fence around it or some yeah. kind of barrier around it. But if you carry on going round, you will um, go inside the castle into like the dragon's lair mm -hmm. um, but if you turn right and then you go into this like rounded area you can get a really really good picture of yourself and the castle um, so what the other person has to do is they have to stand a bit further away and they have to duck down and point the camera up, if yeah. that makes sense, so that you can get the whole castle in it. Um, but even if it's busy, you tend not to see the people in that photo, so it looks like it's just you in the castle, which yeah, is even, really hard to get. Even if they're walking along the walkway to go through the castle, mm. you can't really see many of them. Yeah, so I hope that makes sense, like where it's situated, mm. but as, a, as you're walking to the castle, um, it's just to your left. But but there's also another good uh, photo opportunity there if you've got some sort of like little tripod mm. and you set that up. We've done the one with the spirit oh, jerseys. Yeah. You can do like one face in the back um, yeah. showing off your spirit jerseys. So number two is it's when you're going through the, oh, I never the legends of the Wild West. I yeah, think it I think is that's what it's uh, Frontierland. This is something that I always like to do. And actually on our last trip, I don't think we vlogged it, but Helena nipped off to the <laughs> toilet and I just thought, I'm going to go all the way around here and take as many photos as I can of uh, Legends of the Wild West. But right at the very top is a brilliant view of Thunder Mesa, which mm -hmm. is quite possibly my favourite land, yeah, uh, frontier land in Disneyland Paris because of Phantom Manor. But you see it all, yeah. You, yeah. you see the, the, the boat uh, and you see Thunder Mountain, of course, in the background. It's just a great picture opportunity and you can have you know just one of your on your own but it's also a good selfie spot as yeah well. the best place is in the middle of that bridge yeah and what they call like a drawbridge no not drawbridge what's it called oh, it's just like a little wooden it's wooden. like a walkway that yeah. they've got all the way around um but there's a bridge and then if you stand in the middle you can have a perfect view of big thunder mountain so you can get like a selfie there number three is a spot that's very special to us because it's our engagement spot but it also makes a really nice photo in general um, mm -hmm. As you walk towards um, Disneyland Paris for the first time, you will first come to the Disneyland Hotel and it has fountains outside. Um, and then as you walk, there is two ways you can go. You can go left or right. And if you go left, that's our engagement spot. <laughs> if you go right, it still makes a good photo as well. Yeah. The middle platform tends to be really busy, doesn't mm. it? And the platforms to the side tend to be a little quieter. Um, so I'd recommend going there and yeah, you can get an amazing photo of yourself in front of Disneyland Hotel, which is stunning. Great during the day, which we've mm -hmm. done before back in 2017. And obviously an epic photo at night time with the fountains going. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Number four, this is one that we found on our most recent trip. Uh, which is it's quite near where the uh, Statue of Liberty bit is um, as you're going through the arcade. You come out of that door that leads to the outside, to Main Street, and then you turn around again, and then in the corner, you've got the, the barbershop. Um, so outside the barbershop, it's got this mirror, and on the mirror, it's got a moustache, and you can get it right so that when you take a photograph, 
you have that giant moustache. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also, there's like an adult one and there's also one for little ones as well. Yeah. Um, so you can both get a photo of moustache, which is quite fun. <laughs> and like you can, you can do it with you taking it or we discovered that if you sort of stood in this exact position, you could take it of the other person. Yeah. <laughs> Number five is, well, he's our favourite photo spot. <laughs> and that is getting a photo with new guy Ralph. If you don't know who new guy Ralph is, <laughs> you'll have to this watch might, the vlog. This might sound very strange yeah. if you've not... It, who's new guy Ralph? He's so this isn't his original name. I no. actually don't know what his official name is, but we call him new guy Ralph yeah. because, I don't know, the name just came to me. <laughs> and Ralph. I just knew that he was called new guy Ralph. <laughs> Um, and he's new so basically I think he was there originally and then he went away for a couple of years got spruced up and now he's back yeah it's a statue by the way oh it's a statue <laughs> so you've got we call um, the one with the moustache we call him Tim Tracker mm. and then new guy Ralph so we always have to get a photo with new guy Ralph so yeah, yeah. so it's as you walk up Main Street, outside one of the shops, one of the emporiums. You'll You've see got them, them yeah. yeah. They kind of like welcome you to the shop, don't they? They do, yeah. yeah. And he always seems really cheery. <laughs> we always like to see him. So in Disneyland Paris, you've got the Toy Story Playland, I think it's called. It's not called Toy Story Land, that's in Orlando. But there's so many photo opportunities within there's this so area. Many. But one of our favourites is to go up to the, the big uh, statue of Rex and to pretend to get eaten by him. Yep, I always do it. You can do loads of photos, because it's like a huge, huge um, statue of him. Yeah. So you can get like really fun photos, but one of the fun photos is to, yeah, look like you're being eaten by him. Yeah, I, cho I chose to hug him on the last time. Aww. <laughs> but yeah, being a Toy Story fan, I'd love even more opportunities like that. Yeah, and it makes you look really small like a toy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number seven is a very famous one. Everybody gets this photo, but it is quite hard to find. And it is the casting agency door. And I only found it on our last trip, actually. Yeah. I've walked past it all the other times. Um, but it's as you walk down Main Street, on your left, you have Walt's Restaurant, which we've never eaten at. Um, no, yeah, there haven't. is Walt's Restaurant. And then just right by Walt's Restaurant, there is the casting agency door. I think I show it on our latest vlog series. Um, so if you actually want to see where it is. Yeah. But yeah, that was that's always a fun one. I feel like everyone always gets that one. Mm. And it's just, um, even if you're not working for Disney, it's still... It's still fun to, like, have a photo outside the casting door. Yeah. Number eight. So if you manage to make your way through the <laughs> maze, uh, the Curious Labyrinth, you'll end up at the... It's like the Queen of Hearts yeah, castle, isn't like it? Yeah, it's like her castle. Yeah. And so you can go up there and there's a nice viewing platform and you get a picture of Fantasyland. Yeah. And a lot of the park. Like, you can mm. see Lowe's in the distance from there. Yeah. Um, That's your reward for finding yeah. your way out. <laughs> So number nine is another castle pick. If you fancy a kind of different angle to everybody else, because um, they always take a front um, photo, if you go to the left, but like right to the left, if that <laughs> makes sense. I've noticed there's a theme. We're always to, to the, the left. left, to the left. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there is a walkway, um, so as you're walking up to the castle, there is a walkway on the left that takes you all the way around to Fantasyland, so you mm. don't have to go inside of the castle, so you want to take that one. So the far left walkway, and you can get a really good photo of the castle from the side, and it's just really pretty. And this was from one that, that we just found because the spot that we spoke yeah. about earlier, that was busy. People were there and it looked like there was quite a few people lining up to, to go in there. So we thought, well, let's try something different. And we mm. went right round to the side. And yeah. It made a really nice picture. Yeah. Number oh. 10. This had to be in here. So uh, this wasn't on the last trip. It was the trip before, mm. wasn't it? Where we went and got a photograph outside of Phantom Manor at night time. <laughs> and the colours. It was, I took a photograph so of you. Good. It's one of my all-time favourite pictures that we've taken colours were just amazing all these purples it'd be and cool blues. as a canvas wouldn't it it would be really good you're pulling the scary face and I'm pretty sure you can see as well you can see the the bride in mm. the window uh, which is like a little hidden gem as well if you look at Phantom Manor on the the middle uh, row of windows I think you can see the outline of the the bride um so yeah that's that's another <laughs> Favorite this is spot. one of my favourite photos. I, th yeah. I definitely think getting a photo of Phantom Manor at night is better than during the day. It's yeah. More eerie. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so another great photo spot is the Jolly Roger, the Peter Pan ship, which is just outside of Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It's huge, isn't mm-hmm, it? Mm-hmm. And you can actually take a photo from so many different angles and get a really good shot of it. Um, but on our last trip, or second to last trip, yeah. we went round where the netting is, right by it, and we got a photo literally <laughs> just outside of it, and it made really cool photos. I think it was just after we'd been to the Swiss family Robinson, Robinson Treehouse. Tree house. <laughs> yeah, just before you cross the bridge, I think. Um, there's like a little bit of netting, so you can't actually go in the ship, mm-hmm. which would be cool. Um, but yeah, just outside that netting, you get a really good close-up view of the ship. And you can pretend to be a pirate. I think we did that. <laughs> Number 12. Um, this is a, a vehicle. <laughs> it's it's sometimes there. Yeah. Um, they normally decorate it to fit whatever festival is on mm. or whatever time of the year is on. Whatever time of the year it is, sorry, <laughs> not on. Um, and it's this refreshment car that is just... It's down one of the side streets as yeah. you're walking along Main Street. On the left. <laughs> on the left as you're walking towards the car so on the left <laughs> um, isn't yeah. it where the moustache is it is actually yeah I think yeah. so yeah so if you've taken that photo yeah just have a little look uh, in the corner and you might see well you will see the uh, moustache photo oh I thought you meant the uh, the car <laughs> oh no <laughs> you, I think you will see you the might, car yeah the car's yeah. big <laughs> if you can't see it it's not there <laughs> <laughs> but we always like to, you can go in the driving seat or the, or is it the passenger seat? No, it's the driving, driving seat, seat and you yeah. can pretend to drive and yeah. I always put like one hand out and it makes a really like fun photo, especially if it's decorated mm-hmm. um, for Halloween. It's really cool. Yeah, it had all it's these really flowers nice. on, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Number 13 is a classic photo that you just have to get <laughs> um, and it is of the fireworks. Um, whilst they're going off around the castle. These are quite hard to get. I mean, if you've got a really good phone, I think you'll be able to get a really good photo. I think the trick is to just keep taking them. Yeah. And you'll look back at them after you've taken them yeah. and you'll see which ones worked and which ones didn't and you yeah. just have to delete the ones that didn't. <laughs> um, but also if your camera's got like one of those functions where it takes multiple images. Yes, that would be good. That's quite a good idea, yeah. I think, yeah. Because we have to like discard loads where yeah. there's like the firework hasn't actually um, popped, exploded, exploded, or it's blurry. Yeah, or blurry. Um, but sometimes you get a real gem where like the fireworks are just exploding. You see all the colours, and yeah, it can just make a really special photo um, to remember the fireworks. Number fourteen. So if you didn't know, you can actually go at the top of the castle. Yeah. The top of Sleeping Beauty's castle. And we love taking a picture outside when you get onto the little balcony area and you get to pretend that you live there. (laughs) (laughs) Look out over your kingdom, (laughs) your fantasy land. Um, This is an amazing picture because you get to see the carousel Mm. and you get to see the whole of uh, fantasy land. Um, And that, to me, screams, you know, Disney. Disney, Being able to see fantasy land. Yeah. So this is a photo that Martin always gets. <laughs> yeah. And it's in Walt uh, Disney Studios Park, just as you're about to go into Toy Story Playland. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. um, there's a huge, like a huge Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, and I think they've so now big. got it over in Toy Story Land, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, in, um, in Orlando. Um, but this one's actually on the floor, I think. Is he one on the floor in Orlando? Uh, no, I oh, can't remember now. No, I think remember. he's a bit further away, you can't like stand. behind the, yeah, not right, right next to him. I don't think. But this one, you can actually stand right next to him in front, and you always do the same buzz like your poses him. Always do the pose, yeah. Um, and he also <laughs> speaks. Um, he does. So it is fun, and then it makes it such a good good photo. Yeah. I love that photo. Oh, me too. <laughs> I love Buzz. Number 17, this is where we normally situate ourselves. I'm such an interesting word. <laughs> situate ourselves during the parade. Um, except not on the last trip no. where we were right in front of the castle. We got but, some good photos there as well. Yeah, normally the we go right to the end where they're exiting. So you've got those uh, double doors that open up uh, next to the arcade. And it's just really nice place to get pictures because it's got all the lights from like the arcade and all the street lights are on as well um and the lights from the actual floats mm. so just loads of amazing pictures you can take and all the characters are in it as well so unlike when you have to like wait for a meet and greet you're able to get your photos of them and where we normally place ourselves there's nobody normally in front of us either no. so 
nice clear view. Yeah. So number 18 is one that we love to take ourselves, but also so many of you guys have sent us amazing photos of this. Yeah, we love getting them as well. <laughs> is it like when we get that notification on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And it is on Slink It Down. Go on. Slink It Down. <laughs> um, but more importantly, it's with our Slink It Dog badges. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I love receiving these photos. It's just so, so cool to actually see our badge on the ride. And it makes such a good photo because obviously the badge is all about the ride. So yeah. it fits in perfectly. Yeah. The badge is, you know, it's originated from that ride. Yeah. So we love receiving them. We had to get our own yeah, yeah. We <laughs> on took our it. last we kept, trip. Kept two badges back for ourselves yeah. and then wore them as well on the lanyards. <laughs> So yeah, that is definitely one of our favourite photos. Yeah. And if you want to get the Slinky Dog badges, then just pop over to our Etsy store. Mm -hmm. We still got lots. Yeah. And we'll write you a personalised message as well on the backing card. <laughs> Sorry, we actually realised that this is number 18, not <laughs> the last one. It's because we had a list that was longer than what we are talking about Some now. Some didn't make the cut. No, we had, to, we had to cut a few to make it 20. <laughs> so yeah, number 18, uh, this is Casey's Corner, outside Casey's Corner. Uh, not outside the bit where you actually walk in, but a little bit further along where it looks like it would be an entrance, mm, but yeah. it's not, uh, just like the facade. So yeah, outside of Casey's Corner. I just love the colours here. It looks really old school. So next is on the carousel in Fantasyland. I love this photo. Um, it's always good to try and get it actually on if you get someone to take a photo of you whilst it's going. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool. It's really fun if you're like on a horse. And then <laughs> the colours and everything. And it reminds me of like an old school fairground picture. And yeah. Yeah. I love the carousel. If you say theme park, I think like one of the earliest things you think of is, mm. is a carousel. Yeah. So I think it's lovely. And also, it always reminds me of the scene out of Saving Mr. Banks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he goes on the carousel. And it also reminds me of Carousel, the musical. My favourite musical. Yeah. <laughs> Which you found out in the Prince video. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tying in. <laughs> right, we're on number 20. Oh, it's good that you got this one. What is it? Tower of Terror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the notes here and it says it says T of T and I was like oh, what's T of T uh, yes yeah, Tower of Terror so we just Tower of Terror again this is I've, I've told this story so many times on the uh, channel but I had a massive fear of it wouldn't go on it for many trips and now I've successfully conquered it and able to go on it and it's one of my favourite rides and to, I don't know to signify that it's one of our favourite rides we always get a photograph mm -hmm. outside of it Looking terrified. And I think it's quite a, like, well-known, um, what do you call it, monument of Disneyland Paris? Landmark. That's landmark, the word. yeah. It's like Tower of Terror. That's such an iconic landmark of yeah. the park, but especially it looks, studios. It just looks so cool, though, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think on the last did, on the last trip, did we, we managed to get it as the sign outside. Mm. So it says, like, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, but then something comes forward and, and, and because says something it's, different. Sorry. And because it's quite high as well, it's probably another one where it's better if the person taking the photo bends down so they can get the whole yeah. tower in. Yeah, we've done selfies, but I think it is better if you're taking it off yeah, someone you can so you get can it get in. everything in. So that is it. That is our top 20 Instagram spots at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. So get snapping. Yeah, and tag us in them. <laughs> tag us in them on Instagram. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe that we haven't done that. I'm sorry. We're going to have to add on another one. We're going to have to add on 21. Have I missed that one? Creepy hyena. <laughs> That's a photo spot. <laughs> We created that photo spot. As I say created, I mean, people have obviously probably taken photos of Creepy Hyena before. But to us, Creepy Hyena. Creepy Hyena. And he's actually, the new thing is to get a selfie with him. Yeah. That's the new thing. There you go. A meet and greet with Creepy Hyena. And I have actually got quite a few good photos of people yeah. getting a selfie with him. Yeah. And he, he always looks good, doesn't he? He always looks he good. He always looks good. He always puts the effort in yeah. to look good for your photos. And he always looks happy. Laughing always away looks there. happy. Yeah, he's never never miserable. Never <laughs> never has a bad day. So, yeah. He's just a bit creepy. He creepy. can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> can't help that he's creepy. Creepy hyena. Yeah. 
So that's, yeah, sorry. We've got sorry, 21. 21. <laughs> but that is it. Make sure you tag us on Instagram so we can see all your amazing photos. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.